the 2022 T-Mobile Home Run Derby bracket is set with eight players competing for the crown. Kyle Schwaber is the one seed taking on Albert Pujols, who is the oldest participant in Derby history in the first round. But perhaps the bigger story is Pete Alonso, who is looking to become the first player ever to win three consecutive derbies. And for more, we've got Carl Ravitch here with us, but we all know that you and Mad Dog have a lot to say, so take it away, Mad Dog. Uh, Ravi, thank you there, Victoria. We love you, uh, Ravi, you know that. You know, we this Derby thing is gonna be fun. You know why? So much of the Derby is the environment. Yeah. You know, Baltimore with the, with the office building behind right field, and obviously yeah. with this, with the two pavilions, possible to hit the ball over the fence there, Good weather, the Hollywood sign. I mean, it's got a lot. It, you know, listen, I mean, part of this is the environment, and the environment here in L.A. on Tuesday night for this event should be great. Let's start there. Go ahead. Yeah, without question. Look, the, I, I, think the, I think the nighttime is a great time for a derby, but if you're in Los Angeles, I think the daytime is better. The ball flies more. You will be able to see the hills. You'll see the Hollywood sign. I, I think somebody's going to hit the ball out of the building. I mean, I, you know, last year, Soto hit a ball 520 feet. I don't know that uh, it's ever been discussed publicly, but I get the sense that the balls are a little tighter than they usually are. I think we'll I think we'll see one leave, maybe more, maybe more than one leave. Yeah, the atmosphere is incredible. Look, the, let's not dismiss this too, Doug. The Dodgers are the NL West beasts, along with the Padres and the Giants. They realize Dodger fans, and that's the bulk of the people that are going to be there. Their chief competition this year may very well be the New York Mets and Pete Alonso. So you bring in this guy, the gladiator, into this arena where there's people kind of rooting against him. They're probably going to be rooting for Seager and Pujols a hell of a lot more than anybody that's taken on Pete Alonso. So, yes, the atmosphere in Los Angeles is an ideal situation for this 2022 T-Mobile Home Run Derby. And I think the All-Star Game call, and I think you're going to agree, it's not the same as it was 40 years ago. The leagues don't want to beat each other so much. I think they made a big mistake by taking home field away from it because it put a little caveat on the game, which kept you interested. Now, after the uh, introductions, you know, you kind of lose interest in it a little bit. And the Home Run Derby is sort of the highlight of the whole weekend. I think more people get into the Home Run Derby on a Monday night and the way <laughs> Fatidi bracketed it. Where it goes, yeah. oh, it's a little quicker. I think they have more juice for the Monday night than they do actually for the game on Tuesday. How about that? I think there's something to it. I, I certainly think the television ratings uh, suggest that. I mean, the numbers are very close now between the Derby and the All-Star game. There may come a time where the, where the Derby passes the All-Star game. Look, to, to me, and, and you know this as a baseball historian, the, the home run champion whether it's regular season or now you're, you're looking at the Derby as kind of the defining moment for who's the best home run hitter in the game is like the heavyweight championship. You, you win the home run Derby. You can stand there like Alonzo did with, with that trophy and say, I'm the guy. I am the home run Derby champ. This is like Muhammad Ali once was. Nobody's better at hitting a baseball further and more often over the wall than I am. There to me is that component about home run derby champion and as we watch Alonzo here look he is trying to three-peat no one's done that before Griffey's won three but never in a row and there was no derby in 2020 but he did it in 19 he did it in 21 he's here again it would have been wonderful and this is no knock on the Schwarbers and Sotos because the field and Acuna's is unbelievable but if I'm the home run derby champion and I have a chance to knock him off and I'm Mike Trout or Aaron Judge or a healthy Jordan Alvarez or Otani. Those are the guys that I think I'm challenging. Come get me. I'm here. And I think to me that's, that's a real significant aspect to home run derby champion. It is the heavyweight championship of the world. Like that, there's just something about that. And Alonzo embraces it. Yes. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.